Hello and welcome back to DotSpot. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw some hands. Do not be afraid. Ever been in this situation where you're just finishing a nice drawing and you want to put some hands on and you imagine them like this, but you draw them and they turn out like this. Ah, I know I've been there. Okay, I'm going to help you. Don't be afraid. So it doesn't matter if you're going to draw hands cartoony or in a realistic style. They're very, very important because they're very, very expressive, but they all follow the same anatomy rules, maybe apart from this one, which really is just a big bunch of bananas. So let's go and look at some reference. Like I always say, start with the real thing. And we're going to take this reference and I'm going to show you the lines that are really important to make uh, your hands look like hands. Okay, so how are we going to draw this hand? Which lines are important? If you look at this, um, this is a child's hand. He has actually got quite square palms, but generally we can represent this whole area here with a, like a circle. But the most important thing is to realize that this part here is not straight and that it goes up in an arch like this with the middle finger being at the highest point. And this arch here happens at the top of the hand is also mimicked through the, the knuckles and the length of the finger, the perceived length of the fingers. Okay, so this is an arch, goes up and around. The ball of the thumb is really important, um, especially when the hand is palm way up. And the shape of the thumb, you'll notice how it's round here and straight at the back. And that comes around into the wrist. Okay, so we've got some very important lines. This one, this one, okay, and to mimic the length of the fingers. So looking at the middle one, um, we can see the same thing. We've got this basic shape here and very importantly, the middle finger sits in a much higher area, okay, at the highest point. And this is very clear, the archway here with the, lay the fingers laid out like this. The thumb coming out from the side again, round on the inside and straight at the back. And they're coming down to the wrist. Okay, he's had slightly distorted, but the principle is the same. And the arches going all the way through the fingers. Okay, that's really important. And then coming through to the third picture, the thumbs up, the middle finger sticks out the most again in this position as well. And that follows through the knuckles as well in the same arch. Okay, you have this basic shape of the roundness. You can bring that back in. The thumb again, round on the inside the ball of the thumb and straight back to the wrist. I just do little crinkles there, the wrist where the hand joins the wrist. Okay, so we're going to draw this now without the reference picture underneath. So you can see the most important lines. Okay, so let's start by drawing in the, the round palm shape. And this is very important that this area here, that the middle finger comes out of the highest part of the arch. So to draw in the palm, you just need the a very important thumb muscle and the thumb round at the top and straight at the back and bring it back in to the bottom, the base of the hand. And then this joins the wrist. So at the highest point here, we will draw the tall middle finger. And then you have the other fingers, which will come following that same archway that we had. Okay, and you can of course perfect the shape of the hands. However, oh, well, that's basically your basic hand from underneath. You can put another line in there to make it a bit more fleshy. If you want to draw in lines for the knuckles, for the underside of the knuckles, then do so. But remember to follow the same archway across the hands. Okay, all right, so the next hand, start just by drawing in a rough guide for the circle. And with this one, we've got the palm um, down. So the thumb is this on this side. And bring it straight down at the back and straight into the wrist. That's the easiest way. And the other side, you can come up like this. And then start the fingers from these positions. Remember, it's in an archway. So you have the, the first finger the second finger, the third finger, and then the little finger like this. 
you can bring it back in like that it's perfectly acceptable you can draw little knuckles and you could even draw little swirls to represent the knuckle areas but just remember it's got to follow the same archway uh, the same arch sorry as the fingers okay and there's your wrist your hand from the back moving across to the thumbs up this is a kind of it's a fun one so quite useful draw another circle again um, and then the thumb is coming up on this side so draw straight at the back and round at the front and you could always really exaggerate that thumb as well give a big thumbs up the ball of the thumb the muscle so this is important and then coming around here you've got the same pattern so you can draw, you can draw that in to help you the best way is to draw the back of the the end of the knuckles there so you draw those in to give you a guide and then you can draw the fingers in okay so don't forget you're following the same line here as well and there you go a thumbs up you can add a little y shape here which will just help to give that a bit of flesh and just tidy that up in there as well if you want to add the second part here sometimes these are these parts of the fingers are really tucked in you don't see it but if you do remember it's foreshortening and you can just add a little scoop there and that will help you to look like the fingers are really tucked away okay well i hope you like that and uh, you feel more enlightened about how to draw hands okay i've got other hands tutorials in the pipeline so Please subscribe and hit the bell button to receive notifications of when they're going to arrive. And if you liked it, please hit the like button. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.